Hi, in this video I want to share with you my general weekly maintenance routine as well as show you my process on how I refresh the nutrients in my rice gardens. Now, I usually do this every three to four weeks just to make sure that the pH levels in the water are balanced as well as uh, the nutrients are fresh so that the plants can get optimal uptake for nutrients when feeding them. So, I want to share that process with you in this video. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met yet, I'm a plant daddy. Now, I wanted to take you through the step-by-step -step and just share with you and just leave the camera rolling as I'm cleaning my garden and walk you through the process on some of the things that I'm looking for when I do maintenance and upkeep of my garden, inspecting the leaves, looking at the plants, just to make sure that everything is healthy and growing and um, looking on track in the growth cycle of my plants. And then uh, after that, we're gonna do some, after we do some cleaning, then I'm gonna share with you my process on how I flush the nutrients. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera closer to the garden and let's, let's go ahead and get cleaning. So as you can see here, um, my garden is uh, growing a little bit out of control on the top. Uh, I probably should be harvesting more uh, herbs that they're growing pretty fast now that they're they're almost hitting the top of the lights but uh, I'm growing I have two parsleys right over here and I still have my um, chives that I've had in the system for quite a long time and then I still have this mint here but and then this Thai basil is back here but as you can see uh, things are getting pretty pretty high up into the light so I'm going to do some trimming and I'll just share with you what I'm I'll walk you through my process of when I do my trimming um, I also have uh, some parsley here. I think this is evergreen, or this is, oh no, this is uh, French parsley. This is a chervil. But uh, in looking at inspecting some of the plants, um, it's looking like some leaves are struggling here, and I, I think something's going on. Um, I did have camel meal in this system previously, and it looks like it got infected by spider mites. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and, and do some cleaning there. And then um, down here, I'll show you some other things. Oh, let's, let's uh, let me share with you what I'm gonna clean here. Oh, let me move this. Now, as you can see here, um, so I used to have uh, uh, I used to have uh, chamomile in this area here, but it looks like it got in infected by um, spider mites. So I took it out of the system, and uh, I think I do have some spider mites as, as an issue right now, but it's not like going out of control. But I'm hoping to see if I can manage it a little bit. I'm noticing on the other side of the garden, and I'll change the camera angle over to the other side in a moment, but um, my cilantro looks like it got has some cobwebs on it. Uh, that's why I'm kind of wondering if spider mites are in this garden, because I also noticed that the same thing happened with my um, chamomile, which I had to take out of the system. And uh, so look at, now, I'm gonna start cleaning this plant here just to, uh, this looks like it might be struggling a little bit, but we're gonna try to do some cleaning here. And I'm gonna s snip off any leaves that look kind of questionable. This one looks, I don't know if you could see it in the camera, but there's like some discoloration right there. And uh, this doesn't look too healthy. I'm gonna snip this off. Uh, we're going to take that off and as you can see this has like i don't know if you can see it in the this is like a lighter uh, greenish yellow oh you could kind of see it there i don't know if you could see it in the camera if it's coming in focus but there are little cobwebs right here so what we're doing is we're removing the infected areas of the of the plant now i'm gonna get this out of the system i'm gonna put that on the floor and clean it up later but as you can see here, there's more leaves that looked, appear to be infected. So I'm gonna clean that out. And I wanna make sure that this doesn't spread to other, 
plants because this could be a problem and I don't want all of my crops to I don't want all of my crops to um, get infected so we're just gonna do another spot check here this looks like it needs to be cut um, I should probably harvest this soon I have to find a recipe to make something with this uh, chervil this French parsley but this, this, uh, these leaves look not too healthy up there. But let's see. And then maybe there's some in the back here that we're going to have to cut out. Now, is there more here? Let me see. This looks, this one looks all right. I don't know. Okay, there we go. I'm going to try to see if I could spray some soap some soap water. I'm not sure if there's any spider mites at the at the base there, but hopefully this is a solution of um, soap water, a little bit of uh, dish soap and water. Let's see if this will uh, control the problem a little bit. I don't know if you could see this back here, but this part, this uh, cilantro this cilantro right over here is um, struggling. You can see the color, it's like yellow, and it looks like there's some cobwebs on here. I am gonna have to remove this, unfortunately, from the system because this looks infected. I don't know if it's actually salvageable, but um, let's get rid of this. I'm gonna pull this pot out. I'm just using these recycled food containers just to make it easy to take the pot out without dripping all over the garden. And uh, hopefully that'll clean. That'll get rid of that. I'm going to plug up this hole so that no light goes through it. Let's inspect some of the other plants here. This Thai basil is getting out of control. I actually wonder if I should harvest this. Maybe I'm gonna harvest this and repropagate it again because um, this, this Thai basil was grown from a propagation. It's already hitting the ceiling, but let's go ahead and take this out. I'll find something to cook with this this weekend. Um, look at this. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to get my bigger, bigger shears to chop this off. We're probably gonna have to pull out the Japanese pruners cut that off there we go look at this we're going to remove this whole Thai basil plant and uh, see what we could do with that as far as recipes now let me try to pull out this I'm going to try to pull out the uh, Thai basil from the system it's probably going to have a lot of roots oh and that's that's a lot of roots look at that That's a lot of roots. Okay, so we're gonna get that out of the system. And uh, I'm gonna plug the hole on this. We're gonna pull that out. So now we're gonna make some room for new seedlings that we can put into the system eventually oh this is garbage this is uh i'm going to put my scraps on the floor this sage is actually growing a lot too i'm probably going to have to figure out something to do to either repropagate that or whatnot um, usually part of my weekly maintenance is um, i also check to make sure that um that there's no blockage in the drain i want to make sure that there's no um, roots going down in the drain and blocking it um, it looks like I'm going to have to do some spot cleaning there of this tray here. Um, let's go ahead and go to this other side just to do another quick spot check. Um, this parsley looks healthy. I'm checking to make sure that there's no cobwebs on the parsley, but um, the first thing you can tell if a plant is infected, from my experience, is uh, usually there's leaf discoloration, but this parsley looks pretty healthy. Um, yeah, I think this is, this plant doesn't look like it got, got infected. It was just a shrivel. And, um, 
let's see. We'll double check to make sure there's nothing else down here. This evergreen parsley has been growing slow. I wonder if this might be infected too, but um, it looks okay. Um, let's move down to the second level. Down on the second level, um, this dock bloody actually looks like it's not growing to its optimal potential. Um, this plant was blocked by some other plants that were in this area prior to me harvesting them. So um, the growth, I think, was a little bit stunned on this plant. Either that or I might have to give it a little bit more time. But um, let's take a look at the leaves here. If you notice anything that I might not notice, um, let me know. It looks like there's some discoloration here, but it doesn't look bad. I'm not sure. Yeah, these leaves look okay. I'm not, they look fine. These are new seedlings on the right that I just planted. So this level looks okay so far. Again, I'm just spot checking to make sure that there's no um, spider mites on this level here. Um, this Japanese um, parsley looks like it has some, there's some discoloration here. I'm not sure if this is a nutrient deficiency or if this plant is infected, but um, it looks like it's growing okay. Oh, well, oh, this probably doesn't look like it's optimal, but um, this might have to be looked at closer. Let's see. Let's, uh, now let's inspect my um, peppers. These peppers are growing really well. Uh, I, I lost track of the age of these peppers, but um, as you can see now, they, turn, they start off green, and then now they're turning um, like orange here. Now I have to pollinate each of these flowers. The ones that I don't pollinate, um, they die off. And I want to make sure I clean off any leaves that, um, that, uh, that are left here because I don't want any, this attracts bugs. I don't want any bugs in the system. Um, so we will try to keep this garden as clean as possible. Um, removing any flowers that don't, um, that don't uh, turn into peppers or making sure that we're pollinating all the, all the uh, peppers. Let me find my paintbrush here so I can pollinate some flowers. Looks like there's a flower up here. Let's see. It's kind of off camera, but I'm pollinating a flower. So the pepper plant looks good. It's producing. Now over here, this is my lemongrass over here, um, but this has been growing in the system for quite some time. I think I'm ready to harvest this soon. Um, back here, we have Albion strawberries. Um, this looks like it got infected by um, spider mites, but I rinsed it off in water and put it back in the hydroponic system. Um, I planted another strawberry uh, around the same time and it's starting to already fruit. This one um, is not fruiting because it looks like it got um, infected or something, but I'm hoping that it would regain strength and uh, start to flower again. But we'll give that a little bit of time. I don't know if you could see it in the back there. So the bottom level is all tomatoes with the exception of a uh, choiga beet, which is uh, my choiga beet on the bottom over here. Looks like it's struggling because it's not getting any light. Appears to be dying. Um, the celery on this side, let me swing the camera around. I'm gonna swing the camera around. It looks like this celery is infected of some sort. There's like some discoloration in the, in the leaves here. So I have to inspect that closely. But as you can see, this tomato plant is taking over the entire bottom level. So I'm going to give it a nice trimming because uh, I don't want it to hit the lights. And we're going to clean it up.
let's go ahead and uh, snip some of this. Anything that looks like it's hitting the top of the light, if it doesn't have any flowers, I'm going to cut it. So that's usually what I'm going through when I'm inspecting these, um, these tomatoes. Oh, there's some, there we go. We're going to trim that. Anything that's also growing outside of the light area then I'm going to trim as well. We're just going to inspect this. This looks like it's hitting the top. I'm going to cut this over here. Let's give you another angle over here. Um, yeah, this is, this can go. This one looks like it's going to be growing tomatoes. Um, this, This over here is uh, growing to the top. Same with this one. I'm going to trim that. So now you can see um, there's a little bit of clearance here on the top level. Maybe I'll snip this. Let's get rid of that. I'm trying to train the tomato plant just to stay within this area here um, so it's not going to get too high within the, the garden area. But if I show you down here, a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, tomatoes growing here now, which is nice. I need to put a banana down here so that they can start to ripen and turn red faster. Now, if you could see this here, there's some like uh, dried leaves. Now I'm going to cut these because those things attract pests. These attract pests. So we're going to chop this. We're going to take this out. I'm going to get my vacuum too to kind of like vacuum up anything that looks uh, dried and shriveled just to keep everything fresh in the garden. Yeah, this needs to be vacuumed uh, down here. Yep, so we're doing some more inspection. Yep, these, I haven't done some maintenance like this in a while, so definitely needed some upkeep up here. Anything dried, we're going to take out. And these tomato plants grow pretty fast once you get them going. more over here. I put this net over here for support. tomatoes everywhere. Oh, we got some red tomatoes back there. Oh, those tomatoes look great. Those are, I don't know if you could see it. Those tomatoes are great. Those are ready to harvest. I'm actually going to snip these. There we go. Look at these. Check these tomatoes out. I got four tomatoes for breakfast tomorrow. How great is that? <laughs> All right. I'll just let those ripen up on my countertop. Now, as you can see, there's still more 
There's definitely a, a lot that needs to be cleaned here. I'm gonna go get my vacuum. Oh, my battery, my, looks like my uh, vacuum is out of battery. All right, I'll have to do some more cleaning later, but let's go ahead and trim some more. down underneath here as you can see there's just like a lot of like leaves that need to be vacuumed up actually if there's no flowers on this plant I think I want to I want to cut this Oops, I think I just cut a tomato that was growing. That's okay. All right, now let's take a look at this celery here. This celery takes a long time to grow. I want to make sure that this is healthy, but it looks like something's happening with the celery because I'm, I'm seeing discolored leaves here. I don't know if it's because if it's infected with spider mites, I, but I don't see any traces of spiders webs on these leaves or if um, these might be affected because of uh, because they didn't get that much light because the tomato plant was um, blocking it but I'm gonna monitor this for a little bit something's happening here with these leaves let me trim this off let me trim this off too. try to get some of these bad leaves off see if this will self-correct look at this here that needs to be cut yeah but let me double check and inspect the pod. Um, hopefully it won't be too bad, but there we go. We'll just keep an eye on that one. All right, up next, I'm gonna flush out the nutrients in the system so we can replenish it with uh, fresh water and nutrients and uh, rebalance the pH uh, just to make sure that any old water is out of the system and get new clean water into the system. Um, so I'm going to show, I'm going to, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to unplug, I'm going to unplug the pump and we're going to drain all the water out. So the water level is already low in the system, but when I unplug the pump, it's going to drain each of these levels into the reservoir and, um, the reservoir is going to raise again. So, um, let me show you, let me show you in the, how it's going to look. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to unplug the, uh, the pump. I'm just going to remove it from the control panel here so that uh, it will stop uh, pumping water. So, oh, I just removed the light, not the pump. Where's the pump? Oh, there's the pump. Okay, let me plug this light back in. There we go. Okay, so now I unplug the pump and the water is slowly going to rise in the tank. Oops. Oh, the light system just turned off. Let me turn it back on because the timer is... This has been on a 16-hour cycle already, so 
the water should start rising because the pump is off. As you can see, the water is down here, but it's going to start to rise. And when that rises, after the water gets uh, emptied out from each of these levels, I'm going to siphon it into a, into a bucket. So we're going to empty it out and, uh, and get rid of it. I'm going to take off the lid. So we're first going to take the water out of the tank, out of this uh, reservoir. And then what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to use this siphon and then we're going to take the water out of each of the levels. That's what we'll try to do. So this is just a regular fish tank siphon that I got at the pet store. And uh, I'm going to pump, see if we can pump this water out. Trying to get some suction out of here. Let me see. Oh, let me try the other way. Oops. I probably have the pump in the wrong way. Oops. There we go. There we go. Just had to turn the pump around. There you go. Now you can see all of the remaining nutrient solution that has been pumped out. Now what I'm going to do next is dump the uh, nutrient solution into the toilet and uh, get rid of it. And uh, we're going to take out the uh, whatever remaining water is in each of these levels and try to flush that out as well too. So we'll try to get as much water out as possible. I'll be back in one second. All right, what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to suction or siphon the water out of each of these levels. And uh, just to make sure that there's fresh water in the whole system, um, that's what we're going to do next. This process is taking quite a bit of time just to flush out the system, but you want to make sure that the plants have uh, uh, good, clean water. So that's why I'm taking the time to, to do this. One thing I did here was um, I took some roots out of the tomato plant that might have that were old. Uh, those were easily to easy to comb out, and uh, so I had to clean that out from the system. So that's that's it for emptying and siphoning out the water out of the system. Um, at this point, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end recording this this video and wrap it up because uh, all I'm going to do next is just fill up the garden with nutrients and uh, get the levels back up again so that uh, it'll recirculate water through the whole system. But um, that process shows you everything I've done from uh, cleaning and maintenance to uh, removing the old nutrient water and I'm gonna replenish it with uh, new water, uh, balance out the pH and uh, get the nutrient levels up to about um, I think for the growth stage of these plants, I think I'm going to bring the EC level up to about 160. So um, that's it for that's it for this video. If you have any questions or uh, follow up comments, uh, feel free to comment on the video below and I'll try to get back to you right away. But uh, thanks for tuning in to the video and I'll see you in the next one.